!walao! eh, got so many masks. Got one ah uh, can kill COVID or not? Hi everyone, this is Chris Sal from Chris Damon, and I hope you have a wonderful day. As you guys already know, the community cases in Singapore for COVID-19 has been increasing, and hence it is now very important for us eh, to actually step out of measures to actually stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus. And one of the most basic thing that we can do now is actually to mask up when we are in public areas. Okay, this is very important because it's not just for your safety, for my safety, it's actually for everybody's safety. Okay, but then oh, there are so many type of masks out there. Which one is good leh? Which one should we use leh? Don't worry, we will talk about that in today's video. But before I go on. If you are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so that we notify of any new videos that I will be doing. So masks right, typically can be broken down into two types. Okay, so one type is the face mask, which is also referred as a uh, non-medical mask. Then the other type is a surgical mask, which is referred as the medical use mask. Then you will say, what is the difference between a non-medical and a medical mask? Leh? Why so cheap one? Okay, don't worry, I will explain to you, okay? But before I do that, let me first tell you what is a face mask first. Okay, face mask, I, in short, is any mask like that is made out of cloth or fabric. Okay, so you can find this in your local supermarket or if you know how to sew uh, and you've got a dimension, uh, you can actually make them at home. Okay, you can self-make them. Okay, this type of mask, I, uh, usually they have uh, one type of property only, uh, which is the source control property. What the source control property means, uh, it means that it can only control right, water droplets or aerosol from the wearer uh, to spread to people around him, especially when he uh, talk, when he cough or when he sneeze. So it's a, in a way, it's like a one-way type of protection only. Uh, it's not a two-way. It doesn't protect the wearer actually. Okay, it only protects the people around him. And because of this, right, this type of mask right, cannot be used uh, for medical purposes. Uh. Hence, this type of mask is known as non-medical mask. Surgical masks are masks that are single-use, okay, and they offer both source control as well as wearer protection. So, uh, in case you go to, for example, like if you go to a clinic or to a hospital, right, whereby you will be potentially uh, exposed to someone who is very sick or very ill, then in those cases, it is highly recommended that you actually uh, wear a surgical mask. Unless, of course, you think that you are Rambo, la, not scared to die one. La. Then you want to use a face mask, it's up to you. La. But highly recommended if you go to those highly contagious area or high exposure risk area, right? please wear a surgical mask. Okay, so what constitutes a good face mask? Okay, a good face mask must have three layer or three ply. Okay, this is very important. Or oh, okay, a minimum is two lah, but best is three ply or three layers lah. Okay, and then best ah, best ah is the three layer ah, have different properties one ah. So what are the properties you ask? Okay, so the outer layer ah, the one that's outside one ah, best ah, it can have some water resistant property lah. Okay, the middle layer ah, if can must be able to do some form of filtration. The inner layer, other than being very comfortable on your skin, okay, it must be able to absorb water droplets. Okay. But then oh, the most important thing, the most important thing, okay, in my opinion, is that when you combine these three layers together and when you wear them, make sure, make sure you still can breathe. This is very important. You can have the best mask in the world, but when you wear them, you cannot breathe, uh. you still die, you know. And you don't die because of COVID, you die because you cannot breathe. Stupid, right? Huh? So make sure when you put them all together, you still can breathe, okay? Then, so a good example, a good example of those uh, good face masks uh, are those that are distributed by uh, People Association or PA or those uh, distributed by the uh, Thermasic Foundations. Uh. Okay, but then uh, I just want to let you guys know uh, because face masks uh, are non-medical use masks, Okay, they are non-medical use one. Hence, they are not actually certified by HSA. La. So, it's very important right, that you choose one right, that is uh, comfortable and suitable for you. Okay, anyway, let's hear what Dr. Leong right, has to say about face masks. Okay, so masks have certifications. So, we talk about three-ply masks and three-ply masks are great. But 
you could put anything in your third ply or your middle ply and you call it a three ply mask which makes it really ridiculous so you really want some form of certification and one of which is ASTM ASTM that's great one two three the greater the number the better it is in terms of uh, efficacy as well as prevention of uh, uh, it being wet etc so we need certification so that we get good quality stuff and I think the point is if you were to use cloth masks which is made on your own, you don't know how good they are. Now, I know of some people who actually have a filtered layer that's put right in between, and this will help to improve the efficacy of the filtration. Great idea. But at the end of the day, you still need a good mask fit. So if it's sewn poorly, well, it doesn't work very well. And we are talking about viruses mutating very, very quickly. We need better efficacy of masks in order for it to be effective. Now, the next point about um, uh, what about the vents that comes out? No, that's an absolute no, no. I'm going to pick a big cross there and say no to that because that's really a very selfish act. Whatever you breathe in is filtered. Whatever you breathe out is unfiltered. That means you have unfiltered love, unfiltered virus that's shedding out. Come on, we had enough of that. Okay, filter your air coming out and filter your air coming in. It works both ways and use the mask correctly. Okay, so there you have it. Uh. For those face masks uh, that have the so-called the exhalation vow one, uh, it's a big no-no, a uh, big no-no. Okay, come on. Uh. I Like what Dr. Leong said, uh, don't spread your love to other people. Okay, don't be selfish. You filtrate in, but you spread out. Oh, that one is very bad. Uh, okay, so people don't need your virus love. Okay, <laughs> they need your real love. Okay, so don't spread your viral love to everybody. For those masks that have those uh, acceleration vowel one, please, no, no, uh, don't use them. Okay, so what constitute a good surgical mask? This is very simple. It's a lot easier than facial mask, okay? So basically, surgical mask, I just need to make sure that it is actually certified to the ASTM standard as mentioned by Dr. Leong earlier. Lah. Okay, but then uh, you have to be uh, careful, uh, careful uh, because in the market uh, today, uh, there are a lot of those uh, disposable or single-use masks. Okay, those are... Uh, some of them are not surgical masks. Okay, some of them, especially those are uh, got very nice printing in front one. Uh, those are just for aesthetic purposes only. Uh, you wear them to look nice. Okay, they are not surgical masks. Okay, so they are not uh, certified one to the standard. Okay, so make sure you double or even triple check them before you purchase them. Okay, then uh, because of the current uh, COVID uh, variant that has been going around, right? Some experts are also recommending uh, okay, to actually double mask. Okay, what double mask means uh, is you wear one surgical mask, then you wear another one. Okay, to actually uh, offer maximum protection. Uh, okay, but then this is really up to you. Okay, up to you. No one uh, will summon you uh, if you only wear one mask. No one uh, will give you reward uh, if you wear two masks. Okay, what more important, uh, what is the most important thing uh, in my view, right, uh, is that when you wear surgical mask, uh, you just have to make sure you know how to wear properly. Anyway, uh, Dr. Leong also has something to say about uh, surgical masks. Let's hear him out. We, we are no longer in the phase where we were, we were starved for masks. We actually have sufficient masks now. In fact, we have locally made masks with certification from HSA itself. Which means, why, why should we be stinging on the sense? We should be going on good quality masks good certified surgical mask which actually works and does exactly what it says. Now, if we actually keep going back to the cloth mask, reusable, I know in a way it is actually cheaper, it is reused, recycled and perhaps use it longer, but we are at the brink of another circuit breaker. If we don't break this lackadaisal attitude, the high virus will break us and we go into another circuit breaker. Okay. Just before I end, I want to share a video clip that I've been circulating around quite uh, frequently among a lot of people. Uh, and it's about China, right? Recently developed this uh, new N95 type of mask that is, hear me out, uh, that is capable of killing COVID type viruses in minutes. Yes. <laughs> okay. In minutes, I kill COVID type viruses in minutes. Okay. Personally, I don't believe it. I think it's fake. So anyway, I have the video clip here in Mandarin. You guys can watch it, okay? But watch it for the fun of it, ah. Uh. Don't believe uh, too much in it, ah. Uh.
，一只只新款 KN95 口罩快速成型，他们将以一只十二元的价格销往世界各地。就是我们和我们欧美的代理商现在洽谈是每个月基本上在一千万只左右的一个供应量。这款针对新冠病毒研发的专用口罩，采用含氧化铜、仿粘无纺布为主要材料，具有微生物灭活特性。也就是说，这种口罩除了常规的过滤作用之外，还具有直接接触灭活的作用。像我们做过实验，在一个四平方厘米的一个一个小小的这个口罩表面哈，呃，你如果泡进去一万个病毒，它能够在十分钟之内给你杀到一个都不剩。一个小时左右，多高浓度的新冠基本上都会被杀死。哇 ，serious 啊 ！You can kill so many viruses 啊 ，and it only cost twelve RMB for a mask that is reusable. Some more reusable 啊，哇 ，too good to be true. Whenever something is too good to be true, it is fake. Okay, it is fake. So don't believe in it. Okay. Anyway, I just want to share also. I know 啊 ，Singaporean 啊 ，very kiasu, very kiasi. Okay, so sure 啊 ，got people double mask or even triple mask one. I personally know a friend of mine who has been double masking ah、uh, since last year. Okay, I never once see him single mask one. He always double mask one. So it's not surprised to see people actually double mask or triple mask lah. But then oh, please don't be like this anti like that ah.、Uh. Put mask already, still put the anti UV plastic bag over it and cover it. Okay, this is very dangerous. Okay, this is very dangerous. Andy, I have to tell you, ah,、uh, it's very dangerous. Why, ah?、Uh, because, ah,、uh, you will potentially die. You know, not because of COVID, but because, ah,、uh, you cannot breathe, leh. There's no air, leh. So please, don't do this. Don't put a plastic bag over your head. Not only does it make you look stupid, it could be potentially fatal to you. All right, that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up, ah,、huh? a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe, okay, and hit the bell button so that you be notified of any new videos that I will be doing. So till my next video, please stay safe. And this is Chris Sal, signing off.